When you guys think about data, I mean, I'm sure you see a tremendous amount of data on your buyers. Is there a certain age where like all of a sudden people are like, oh, flossing or maybe a demographic. So maybe it's like a 32 year old female or a 40 year old man. Do you guys see any interesting trends in that in that area? I mean, anecdotally for me as a dentist, uh, I think that I start to notice people starting to start worrying about their own health, like in their early 20s. It's usually after okay. college. All of a sudden, um, you have your first job, you have your first, you know, medical dental insurance, and you're starting to like, okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to go to the dentist. You start scheduling it, and then you start realizing, like, shoot, like, I spent all these years, like, you know, you know, drinking, <laughs> drinking hard lemonade and eating midnight snacks, and like, and um, not taking care of my teeth, and now I have all these cavities for the first time in my life, and and then you're like, what do I do? And I feel like that's kind of like a moment, like a sh- like a shift in perspective at that phase in life. I think that's also when people start to. I feel like in college, most people, at least when I was in college, like people are generally not so healthy. And then it's after college that you start to shift like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow up a little bit and start taking care of myself. I don't know, what do you yeah. guys think? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, it was, uh, so obviously for me at the time, I got off my mom's insurance, right? I got my first job, I was a civil engineer and I went to my dentist who I played golf with and I had a cavity and I was like, what? I have a cavity? Are you crazy? And that was shock one. And then I said, great, like how much? And it was like $120 for this thing. And as a 20 year old, you know, you think about that, like that's your cable bill, that's your cell phone bill. And so I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, but we can use, they were still using like metal at the time or something or like mercury, I forget what it was. And so there was like a fill in you can get that was tooth colored and then one that wasn't. And I was like, how much is the one that isn't? He's like, oh, that's 80. And I was like, what? And so the price alone for me was, I was like, never again. I'm like, give me, I was like, what toothbrush do you use? How many cleanings should I get per year? You tell me, like, I'm just ignoring all the health insurance stuff for like one per year. I'm like, not enough. So for me, it was like the the, the trigger was, it impacted my bottom line. And I said, never again. <laughs> Absolutely. I just yeah. hope that they didn't use mercury in your It mouth. wasn't mercury, no, no, sorry. <laughs> it was just like, at the time it was, they had different options for the fill-in colors, which was also shocking. I'm like, who would want, you know, a weird color? Fill doesn't even make any sense. I'm like, why is that an option? But I guess it's cheaper. And also those fees you quoted, Diego, those sound like co-pays. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, dentistry, it is really expensive. And it's, as a dentist, like, I feel awful every time I have to drill into someone's tooth. Like, okay, of course, like if there's like decay and I'm cleaning out the decay, I'm happy. But like for a lot of these cavities that occur between your teeth, the, these cavities that could have been prevented with flossing, unfortunately, in order for us to get to that area, we have to cut through perfectly sound, healthy enamel to get there, to fill it effectively. And so that breaks my heart because as it is, like we're trying to conserve and protect the enamel and the tooth structure as much as possible. And then to have to sacrifice some healthy tooth to be able to clean, to do a cap filling. It's, it's really sad for me. It sounds heartbreaking when you say it that way. I'm like, oh my God, let's save the ocean. It's, <laughs> I'm just like, this feels like. <laughs> for me, it's very visceral. Like I just, I feel awful about it. That's why it mattered so much to me that I, I found a solution to this. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.